it to um, my IQ feed as my provider, so I'll be prov uh, uh, I'll be kickstarting that. The other thing is is that obviously I just want to start very simple, but essentially over time I'm going to be wanting to run all this in parallel. So initially I'll have a system come in and I'll have different market uh, assets or securities being watched. So I can, in, in, initially I'll have, obviously I'll have one, but the system's scalable where I can have the system watch 5, 10, 100 of these assets and then through all the rules, all done in real time, be able to um, you set up all these different types of indicators um, and then generate a model um, optimal uh, for that data and then spit out uh, your trading decisions based on that and then generate all your buys and sell signals. Um, so it's kind of cool. Um, and then there's also the visualization, it's all included. Also, there, as I said, there's an Excel worksheet that will show all this stuff. Very cool stuff. Um, so this, this really jump starts my ability to get something up and running. Again, a lot of it's done in, in um, MATLAB, but there's components already out there that are available using Java for the quick fix, using quick fix J. So the fix is kind of done pretty well because um, that's how I'm going to be most likely connecting into, into uh, interactive brokers, which will be my provider. And then again, I can also, um, from the uh, IQ feed side, which will be my data provider, uh, I'll be using, instead of what they show, I'll be using IQ feed. So I'll still be using the callback and event handling as part of the um, new uh, data toolbox, or I can't remember the name of the toolbox, but it's IQ feed, uh, whatever, data capture toolbox or market feed toolbox, and using that tailoring uh, the system for IQ feed. So all in all, everything's looking really good, jump-starting everything, so I'm hoping to have something done a lot faster than I anticipated. From there, <clears throat> this is just for simulating testing, obviously I'm not an idiot not to trade in, um, in MATLAB, I mean, we know that. Um, but the, the cool thing is, is that the fix is already done, that's in Java, and I'm already using that, so that is pretty well done. Um, I just got to tailor it tailor it for um, the uh, for interactive brokers and that's done really only through uh, a, a simple uh, configuration file. Now also on the um, data side or on the data capture side which is using again uh, IQ feeds um, initially in the in the simulation I'll be using MATLAB calls directly using the IQ feed functions um, but when I go into production I'll just substitute that with the real um, code that I'll find from either um, what I currently could, could kind of use, which I've already shown on my YouTube channel, um, I could use that methodology, which is kind of wonky, or use real, uh, get, get access to the API from IQ Feeds and use their sample code, be able to pipe all the um, data capture, put it into something like a C++, and then have my algorithm, uh, which is going to be in, again, this is why I'm doing in Simulink, I can Here's, here's, here's the nice uh, kicker, is that I'll be able to generate the C++ code from the Simulink model. So then I can essentially merge both the Simulink model, because it's done in C++, with my data capture code, which is again done in C++ as well, and have that all in one system. And then have that same system remotely uh, connect into and interact with the quick fix. Um, I also could use a .NET one as well, but I, I, I mean, they're going to be, it's going to be a, a, a totally separate server, but it's just going to use the MSMQ to interact with the, um, with the fix. So that's pretty well done at that end. So again, everything is looking good, and that's how I'm um, looking uh, from a production level, how I'm going to implement that. Now, here's the other thing is, is that um, let's say a year, six months down the road, things are going really well, and I'm able to afford an FPGA solution, I could take that same algorithm, that same trading strategy that I've done within the MATLAB sim Simulink and then have it, again, using the uh, HDL coder, being able to um, burn uh, onto an FPGA board, that algorithm onto an FPGA board with that capability. So I've got everything all covered uh, coming from one trading strategy from MATLAB. So all in all, this is how I'm proposing to go with it, but start off with a MATLAB trading simulation system and then from there uh, like I said I'll have the quick fix all done already for production and on the other end which is the inflow for the uh, IQ feed 
um, data capture, I'll just use their API and, and tailor some kind of setup uh, or some kind of system that will uh, bring in the IQ feed data, but that shouldn't be a big deal because that should be provided in the example code um, from IQ feed. So that's how it's looking. Um, and uh, we'll go from there and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show people, uh, you guys, especially on YouTube and all my memberships, uh, stuff on how I do it, um, as well as, guess what, the code will be available um, to my premium members. Now, again, um, if I do achieve this before January 14th, which is the, the increase, I'm going to probably, if it do, I don't think it will get done before Jan uh, January 14th, 2013, but if it does, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold back until that date. So... Essentially, if you join before January 14th, 2013, and for what you're paying now, you're getting an amazing deal for this type of platform. Because what you'll get is you'll get um, the MATLAB code, you'll get the uh, IQ feed code, um, you'll also, well, actually, I got to hold back on the IQ feed code because I don't, I might not, I have to verify with IQ feed that I might not be able to showcase that C code. Um, from the API because um, I might be going against their license which wouldn't surprise me so that might be a gotcha but I'll be still be able to show that on on the membership so you'll get that as well as um, all the quick fix stuff will be included um, for most likely Java as well as um, from that day forward all the algorithms that I generate uh, will be coming it will include a simulink model uh, it will include the MATLAB code, and then I'm also going to provide the generated C++ code, and I'll also provide the HDL code. That is right there worth the money. So what I'm saying is if you don't have MATLAB or you can't afford this type of solution with Simulink, you can still get all the code that I generate from it and still use it. Um, but again, for those that don't know, uh, because MATLAB is now my nerve center of everything, um, you can still use alternatives, open source alternatives, using Octave or Scilab. Now, I don't know the compatibility and where they're at with MATLAB, but um, you should still be able to use a lot of the base code uh, for those two um, platforms. Again, those are called uh, Octave or Scilab SCI Lab, and uh, do a search for those products. So hopefully that will help you out, um, and uh, come January 14th, if this system does come into play, or at least where it can be uh, demoed, um, I'll be happy, like a pig and shit, basically. And uh, I'm hoping to help you out to get you uh, to have your own system in place as well. And again, there's no, again, this is the kicker as well. You will, There's no black box here because you'll get source code to everything that is generated. Um, and that's a nice thing about it. So you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on th some third-party solution out there. And if it works or not, because it's coming from MATLAB and it's also using C++. So there's a lot of, lot of, lot of advantages with this. So you know what to do. Have a good day.